to take a look and see if the tire held air overnight. I don't think it did, but... Well, it's, it's leaked some, but it still has some pressure in there. So I'm going to pump this up. Monday morning is our appointment really early. So I'm going to inflate this Sunday afternoon and it should be okay for early Monday morning. I feel like it's the valve stem, but we'll get everything straightened out on Monday. I'm just marking my uh, wheel covers. So the way these work, these extenders thread on to the existing wheel studs and then you put the then you put the cover on you can see only two of these have holes the rest of those lugs are just dummies so those two holes go on over those two posts and then you've got these lugs that then thread on over top of the wheel cover and hold it on. So just two of them hold on that wheel cover. When I first installed these, I was really concerned. I don't know if you can pick it up, but there's not a lot of thread protruding from these lug nuts. So in other words, there's not a lot for these to bite onto when you thread them on. And when I first did these, I was convinced that they were not going to work. So what I ended up doing was using Loctite on them and threading them on there with Loctite and tightening them down. Like if you over tighten them, you're going to strip them right out. But now these have been on here for almost three years and they've never had a problem. Now the other side, when I took it off, one of these came off with the post attached. So the, the bite was tighter between the cap and the stud, tighter than where the stud was threaded on to the wheel stud. So I'm gonna have to get some more Loctite on the other side when I, well, I'm gonna Loctite all of them when I put this all back together. I'm taking these wheel covers off before we go over to the tire shop on Monday, just because I'm always concerned about these. They come with this fancy little tool. It's just basically the size of these lugs. So this is how I just loosen those up to, to take this off. So now I've got to get, uh, this is an Allen head. I've got to get an Allen head in here and break these loose off of the wheel studs and then the one on the other side that's still remaining. I wish these had more studs sticking out for these posts to thread onto. I, I'm surprised, honestly, that these are still as tight as they are because I really had to crack these loose. Um, but these are obviously that Loctite work. They are on there and it worked on one of them from the other side, but not the second. Hi, buddy. I'm sorry to wake you up so early. Good morning. We're up early. Well, not really. I mean, I always wake up early, but we're up this morning because we're heading into town to get the new tires put on the back of the truck. You know, get new tires, no big deal, right? But it is a big deal. This is, this is our home, so everything has to go perfectly. And you know how it is when you go into a shop. So what, what are we going to find when they pull the wheels off? Hopefully nothing. They pull the wheels off, put the new tires on, throw them back on. Hopefully that's how everything goes. But there is a possibility that we come across something that's not good. You know, this shop knows that the people that they're working on the vehicles for live in their vehicles. So, you know, keeping things overnight, not an option. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't take all day. My appointment's at 9 a.m., so we're going to stop at the trash dump on the way into town, dump off a bunch of trash, and then head right over to the shop. While we're in town, I need to definitely fill up with water. 
I need to get us some groceries. I've been putting off going into town because of my leaky back tire. So I was just waiting until today. So we're out of food. <laughs> so we need to go, we need to pick up food. I need to stop and pick up um, my mail. Uh, I haven't been over there in probably a week and a half. I'm hoping that the shop appointment doesn't stretch way into the day because I know myself and by the time we get the truck back, if it's been all day, I'm going to be frazzled and I am not going to want to go do all those errands that need to be done. Taken the truck to that shop before and take Lefty and we just kind of wander around town down there. There's a couple of places where we can hang out. It's supposed to be you know, up around 80 degrees today, not super hot, but you know, I've got to carry some water with us. And so I hope the shop is able to get me in and out of there. That was kind of my theory at getting in there early this morning. I hope that uh, it works out. I'm making coffee, watching a couple videos, reading comments from everybody. A lot of folks came over, they saw my video on um, the Cheap RV Living channel, the tour I did with Bob there about a year ago. It was funny, I was watching that video yesterday. One of you commented in the morning and said, hey, your, your tour video is live. So I went over there and watched it at the changes to the truck since we shot that video. You know, I still have the corner cabinet is still there. I still have the pullout uh, refrigerator. You know, that's all changed. The cabinet's gone. Uh, I've got the new Iceco refrigerator, freezer over there. Um, different motorcycle too. I don't have that Kawasaki motorcycle anymore. So it was really great to see the video, but I had forgotten that when we shot it, you know, that was kind of version two of the truck. We're on version three right now. The oven has been mounted down in the cabinet over here. So just some differences between um, when we shot it and currently, but it was great to see the, the video and Lefty only was noisy in a couple of spots. I'm pretty sure they had to cut out some footage. I had to keep him really right next to me. I tried hooking him up to the you know, back bumper of the truck like he usually is, and he just immediately started barking at me as soon as I walked away. So scratch that, had to bring him up in the truck with me. And while I'm talking to Bob, Lefty is over there like messing with Bob, you know, and I'm trying to hold him back, so. He uh, he tried his dangest to upset the whole thing, but they got some really good footage and the, the tour looked great. It was really nice to see on the other channel. But for all of you that have come over here from, um, from seeing that video, welcome to the channel. If you're interested in ambulance information specifically, if you go back, um, I've got a lot of videos uh, from building my rig, from buying it, building it, all the different things I went through. Uh, so there's a lot of information if you're looking for ambulance information. And if you're looking for my story and how we ended up here living in an ambulance, at the end of the videos, there's a playlist that I show that's all of my videos from the beginning up to current. So if you really want to dig deep and see the whole story, you can click on that playlist and uh, check out for a couple weeks and watch a bunch of videos. All you new people, welcome to the channel. Come on, you gotta jump down. Come on. Come on. Get it in gear. We got places to go, people to see. We gotta go for a ride. Yeah. We gotta go to town. Okay? We gotta go for a ride. You gonna jump down? Come on. Come on. There you go, finally. Lazy. Didn't mean to interrupt your dreams. I'm sure you were winning whatever the dream was. Right here. Here we go. Go bitch on that dummy. Oh, big stretches. Come here. Right here. Oh, that's a good boy. He's such a good puppy. Haven't been up and out this early in a long time. It's like 7.30. <laughs> Thank you.
whichever one of you commented about using the, the booster pack, right on time. It works perfect. Hi everyone. We are at the tire shop. Got over here, got into town at about quarter to nine. The appointment was at nine. And uh, I said, you know, I got to get something in my stomach if we're going to end up, you know, if it's going to be some hours here, I don't want to be starving. So there's a McDonald's like right across the road. So I said, okay, pull into McDonald's. They got one person taking orders and cashing people out. And I'm like, I got plenty of time. It's quarter of, you know, so I don't end up walking out of there till like four minutes off. So I'm <laughs> rushing left the truck running lefty sitting in the driver's seat of course and load all the food into my backpack i got a cup of coffee and a cup of orange juice you know so i'm like two hand in it so we got out of mcdonald's ripped across the road here pulled in walked inside and it was like just clicking 9 9 a.m and while i was waiting for the for the one of the texts to come up front to the to the counter there's another guy sitting in there in the waiting room and he's like, man, they only got one guy working on vehicles and they're all backed up. And so I'm like, <laughs> you know, that's just great. Lefty's having a ball, just walking around here and sniffing all the great sniffs. He's next to the mountain of tires. So we just did a walk around out here. You know, we spent some hours here before, last uh, two years ago. So right down in that little gully right there, we just took a walk and Lefty was able to, you know, take care of his business. I brought my bags, so I was able to clean up after us, you know, leave no trace. I believe in that wherever we go. I don't care how much of a desolate looking area it is, but uh, I always clean us up. I don't believe in leaving that stuff behind. Just not cool. Last time we were here, there was all kinds of rabbits running around in this area. I didn't see any this morning, but there's a dog fenced up in there and I don't want to rile him up again, so I'm not gonna walk any farther. So we're just gonna kill some time here. I've got a Egg McMuffin and a hash brown in my bag and I can smell it coming over my shoulder. So I'm gonna chow on that, put something in my stomach, and then we're gonna wait. That's a good boy. You bored? Just hanging out. The birds have set up their homes in the top of this cactus right here. That's an old one. Holy smokes. So we are at American Custom Tire, I believe this is called. Their sign is Looks like the wind got the best of their sign there. It's kind of torn up. But um, this is, you know, I always try to develop a relationship with any shop that I use. Um, that just makes me feel better. You know, as opposed to just being somebody that comes in off the street. So, you know, being a repeat customer and treating the guys with respect, not being a dank to them. I remember when I first walked into this shop two years ago, it was kind of during busy, really busy season here, more so than it is even right now. And I was waiting for my turn to go up and talk to the guy behind the counter. And there was a customer in there that, was, that he was dealing with that was just being a, you know, being a real prick and treating this guy David behind the counter just, you know, like nobody. And I, you know, I listen to this interaction go on and I'm like, you know, thinking to myself, like, who, who deserves to be talked to, treated like that? You know, nobody. And in my mind, especially the guy who you're trying to ask to do some work for you, you know? And when that conversation was over and I went to talk to him, I'm like, you know, I kind of looked at him and, you know, we're both like, geez, you know. And that person left and him and I had a short conversation about, you know, and I, I said, man, what does somebody think they're gaining by treating you like, you know. And him and I talked about that for a couple minutes and 
you know, I can only imagine what these guys go through. You know, it goes from a quiet town to just crazy town here during this couple couple months during the winter here. And they, you know, tires um, with all the folks that are out here driving all kinds of different rigs in all kinds of different conditions. I'm sure there's a huge need for tire repair out here. So I can really, you know, I, I have a lot of compassion for, for anybody running a shop, but even more so these guys out here during this time of the year where they're just getting beat to heck. What are you huffing and puffing about? I know, you're just bored AF. I'm sorry, buddy. Last time we were here, hey, nope. He actually jumped into that, that area right there. Can you still fit through there? Old chubby. Come on. He wants to go in there again. We're not going in the air conditioning fence. Come on. Come on, goof. Still here waiting. Uh, he got one side done. And 20 minutes or so ago, he was pulling off the other side. So, um... I could hear, they were tight. I could hear his impact gun really screaming to get those things off. I've never had them off, but they were on there. Ah, we're back at camp. We got the tires on. And uh, I had to got all my errands done. It took them, um, it was about three and a half hours, close to four hours by the time we pulled out of there. Um, that place gets so busy. I mean, they were done, and then it was probably another 20 minutes before um, David could get some time to get the invoice ready. You know, I was waiting out front because Lefty was being a little noisy when I took him inside. So he came and called me, and uh, he got me out of there. But they're... Um, they're on here man can you smell them so date code they're about four months old i got the cooper discoverer ht3s american made that's by coincidence just what happened to already be on there that's what we just took off um they had they didn't have the toyos that i had on the front which doesn't really concern me that much you know they're good for highway they got a little bit of aggressive grip on them for the off-road there's a lot of tread on there when i look at this compared to what we just took off of there holy smokes mine were worn so i'm happy it rides you know it's just a short ride seven eight miles back out to camp back end of the truck is definitely i can feel it that it's up higher you know with this much tread all four of them inflated i got the custom valve stems made they did these for me, so this is bent out. They got a long one on here. So tomorrow I'll get out here and put the wheel covers back on and get it all finished up and I'll be super happy. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna cook something to eat, I'm starving. Everybody take care, be safe. We'll see y'all again really soon. And Lefty had a rough day. We wandered around that place He's crashing. He had his food and he's going to take him a nap.